Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats as our presentation is about to begin. And once again, please silence all electronic devices. Thank you for your support of military music and for joining us this afternoon. The performance will begin momentarily.
I am an American soldier. military has begun strikes against al-Qaeda terrorist training camps and military installations of the Taliban regime in Afghanistan. The start of the campaign called shock and awe. Came up from the cloud, there it goes. It is falling down to the ground. December the 13th, United States military forces captured Saddam Hussein Treadwell is one of more than 70,000 U.S. military aiding in disaster response in the region struck by Hurricane Katrina. Feeling good about ourselves and what we're doing and helping our citizens. It will not end until every terrorist group of global reach has been found, stopped, and defeated. So I've committed more than 20,000 additional American troops to Iraq. American troops will now train Iraq's 650 member security forces in Operation New Dawn. President Obama is sending 100 combat equipped troops to Central Africa to advise local forces. Almost a decade in, the hunt for Al Qaeda in one part of eastern Afghanistan looks like this. Americans pushing the Afghans to the front, taking the high ground. Thus be it ever, when free men shall stand between their loved homes and the war's desolation, blessed with victory and peace. May the heaven-rescued land praise the power that hath made and preserved us a nation. Then conquer we must, when our cause it is just. And this be our motto, in God is our trust. And the star-spangled banner in triumph shall wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. And now we invite you to stand and join us in honoring our nation as we sing the star-spangled banner. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Please take your seats. My name is Sergeant First Class Martha Crable, and on behalf of the United States Army, welcome to We Stand Ready, 
a musical tribute to the modern American soldier. Today's performance is brought to you by the soldiers of the United States Army Band Pershing Zone under the direction of Colonel Andrew Esch. At this time, we'd like to recognize our host for today, Sergeant Major of the Army, Daniel A. Daly. We would also like to recognize some special guests here with us today. Lieutenant General Gwen Bingham, Assistant Chief of Staff for Installation Management. Major General Michael L. Howard, Commanding General, U.S. Army, Military District of Washington. <laughs> Brigadier General Omar J. Jones, Chief of Public Affairs. And it is our honor to welcome the Congressional Medal of Honor Foundation and the President and CEO, Major General Retired, Carl Horst. <laughs> it's an honor to have all of you here with us today. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we invite you to sit back and relax as we tell the story of those who stand forever ready ready to defend a nation, ready to fight for what matters, no matter what. Enjoy the show. Thank you. I'm a warrior. I am a warrior. I am a warrior. I'm a warrior and a member of a team.
I serve the people of the United States and live the Army values. I will always place the mission first. When dreaming, I'm guided to another world, time and time again. Sunrise, I fight to stay asleep. Cause I don't wanna leave the comfort 
of this place Cause there's a hunger, a longing to escape The life I live when I'm away So let's go there Let's make our escape Come on, let's go there Let's ask, can we stay? Can you take me higher To a place where blind men see? Can you take me higher To a place with golden streets Although I'd like the world to change helps me to appreciate those nights and those dreams but my friends I'd sacrifice all the nights if I could make the earth and my dreams the same the only problem is we have to exchange all of our love and hate Go there, let's make our escape, come on, let's go there, let's ask, can we stay, can you take me higher, to a place where blind men see, can you take me higher, Come on, let's go there, let's go there, let's ask, can we stay?
I will never leave a fallen comrade. The President of the United States of America, authorized by Act of Congress, March 3, 1863, has awarded, in the name of Congress, the Medal of Honor to then Specialist Salvatore A. Junta, United States Army. Specialist Junta and his team were navigating through harsh terrain when they were ambushed by a well-armed and well-coordinated insurgent force. I've got guns coming in on 5-1. I've got guns coming in on 4-0 as well. Attempting to reach additional wounded fellow soldiers who were separated from the squad, Specialist Junta and his team encountered a barrage of enemy fire that forced them to the ground. The team continued forward, and upon reaching the wounded soldiers, Specialist Junta realized that another soldier was still separated from the element. Specialist Junta then advanced forward on his own initiative. As he crested the top of a hill, he observed two insurgents carrying away an American soldier. He immediately engaged the enemy killing one and wounding the other. Upon reaching the wounded soldier, he began to provide medical aid as his squad caught up and provided security. This is the nation's highest honor. Awesome. And it's given to me, okay, but just as much as me, every single person that I've been with deserves to wear it, deserves to they are just as much of me as I am. Out of all these people that I've been with, out of two combat tours, I'm sitting here in the studio with you right now, and Battle Company, 2nd of the 503rd, the 173rd is out there doing it again, just being brave. My name in lights doesn't look that good, but if I can bring everyone else's name with me, then cool. I think that looks pretty good with everyone else's name there. Staff Sergeant Salvatore Junta's story is representative of the heroism and uncommon valor demonstrated by Medal of Honor recipients throughout our nation's history. This long tradition of extraordinary service continues to this day. On Wednesday, the Medal of Honor will be posthumously awarded in a ceremony at the White House to Staff Sergeant Travis W. Atkins for his actions in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom. Staff Sergeant Atkins will become the 14th soldier to receive the Medal of Honor for actions occurring since the year 2000. Today, we are proud to have Medal of Honor recipient Staff Sergeant Ronald Schur in attendance. These courageous individuals like Staff Sergeant Schur represent the best of us, and we admire their embodiment of the warrior ethos. Please join us in thanking them for their service, their devotion, and their conspicuous gallantry above and beyond the call of duty.
disciplined, physically and mentally tough, trained and proficient in my warrior tasks and drills. adversaries need to see that we are an army of preparation and that we are trained and ready to fight in response to our nation's call. That call can happen anywhere for any type of operation, whether it be another war or whether it be a contingency operation in one of our partnering nations. I always maintain my arms, my equipment, and myself.
miss me everywhere, oh, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. I got my ticket for the long way round, the one with the prettiest of you. It's got mountains, it's got rivers, it's got sights to give you shivers. But it sure it would be prettier, be prettier, with, prettier you. with you when I'm gone. When I'm gone. When I'm gone. When I'm gone. and I am a professional. dictate what you ought to be, what you can be, what you will be. They are your rallying points to build courage when courage seems to fail, to regain faith when there seems to be little cause for faith, to create hope, when hope becomes forlorn. They build your basic character. They mold you for your future roles as the custodians of the nation's defense. They make you strong enough to know when you are weak and brave enough to face yourself when you are a friend. They teach you to be proud and unbending in honest failure, but humble and gentle in success, to be modest so that you will remember the simplicity of true greatness, the open mind of true wisdom, the meekness of true strength. And what sort of soldiers are those you are to lead? Their story is known to all of you. He belongs to history as furnishing one of the greatest examples of successful patriotism. He belongs to posterity as the instructor 
of future generations in the principles of liberty and freedom. He belongs to the present, to us, by his virtues and by his achievements. Yours is the profession of arms, the will to win, the sure knowledge that in war there is no substitute for victory, that if you lose, the nation will be destroyed. That the very obsession of your public service must be to the honor, country. I stand ready to deploy, engage, and destroy the enemies of the United States of America in close combat. Bolt of lightning, send me on my way, still smiling. Maybe that's the way it should go. Straight into the heart of the unknown. Let this bear key on the table. Never really thought I'd be able. Seen me really visit on a weekend. I lost my whole life in a dear friend. I've said it so many times. I 
would change my ways. No, never mind. God knows I've tried. Call me a sinner. Call me a saint. Tell me it's over. I still love you the same. Call me a favorite. Call me the worst. Tell me it's over. I don't want you to hurt. It's all. Nothing really lasts forever. Had to make a choice that was not mine. Had to say goodbye for the last time. Spent my whole life in a suitcase. Never really stayed in one place. Maybe that's the way it should be. You know I live my life like a gypsy. I've said it so many times. I would change my ways. No, never mind. God knows I've tried. Protecting our freedom is the united effort of every soldier, sailor, airman, marine, and member of the United States Coast Guard. Right now, service members are deployed in more than 150 countries around the world in defense of that freedom. We'd like to recognize the families of those service members who are anxiously awaiting the return of their loved ones. We invite all Blue Star families to stand so we can thank you for your sacrifice in the name of freedom. Each branch of service shares common themes of honor, courage, commitment, and a respect for those who came before us. In the spirit of our joint team, we are proud to honor all veterans and their families in attendance today by performing the service songs of the United States military. If you or a loved one served or is currently serving, we invite you to stand and be recognized when you hear your service song. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your Armed Forces Salute. United States Coast Guard.
United States Air Force. Thank you all for your service to our nation. What an incredible view that was walking out here and so many of you standing. Thank you, just incredible. Now it is of the utmost importance that we remember those who never had the opportunity to return home. We must honor our fallen military heroes and remember the sacrifice, resilience, and personal courage of surviving family members. The Army recognizes that no one has given more to the nation than the families of the fallen. At this time, we'd like to recognize and sincerely thank any Gold Star mothers, fathers, siblings, spouses, or children here with us today. Please stand and be recognized so that we may thank you for the ultimate sacrifice in the name of freedom. Our hearts are with you. Thank you. Never forget our soldiers who have given their all, who have given their tomorrows for our todays, who ask for little and yet give so much.
89 cents in the ashtray Half empty bottle of Gatorade rolling on the floorboard That dirty Braves cap on the dash Dog tags hanging from the rear view Old school can and cowboy boots and a go army shirt Folded in the back This thing burns gas like crazy But that's alright Got their ways of coping, oh, and I've got mine. I drive your truck, I roll every window down, and I burn up every back road in this town. I find the field, I tear it up till all the pains are cloud up. of your truck Leave that radio playing Same old country station where you left it Yeah man I crank it up You probably punch my arm right now You saw this tear that's rolling down on my face Mama asked me this morning I've been by your grave That flag and stone Freedom and the American way of life.
I'm just trying to be a father, raise a daughter and a son, be a lover to their mother, everything to everyone. Up and at them, bright and early, I'm all business in my suit. Hey, I'm dressed up for success, from my head down to my boots. Don't do it for the money, there's bills that I can't pay. I don't do it for the glory, I just do it anyway. Providing for our future is my responsibility. Yeah, I'm real good under pressure, being all that I can be. And I can't call in sick on Monday when the weekend's been too strong. I just work straight through the holidays. Sometimes all night long And you can bet that I stand ready When the wolf growls at the door Hey, I'm solid, hey, I'm steady Hey, I'm true down to the core And I will always do my duty No matter what the price I've counted up the cost I know the sacrifice Oh, and I don't want to die for you But I'm dying as for me I am an American soldier. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the soldiers of the United States Army Band Pershing Zone and our commander, Colonel Andrew Esch, Thank you for joining us today for We Stand Ready, a musical tribute to the modern American soldier. We hope you've enjoyed today's performance and we look forward to seeing you again very soon. Army, Army strong. strong.